What's up, WWE Champions Universe? This is Lee from Champions Chat, and this is something a little different. I don't know if you guys are going to like this or, or not. Let me know in the comments section if this is something you enjoy and want to see in the future. But over the last several weeks, uh, we as a community, I think, but a lot of people at least, have gotten a number of big fuses, right? The seventh anniversary was last month, just a couple weeks ago, actually, a week a little over a week ago, uh, and there was a lot of opportunity to get six star characters. Plus, uh, you know, I just have not used a bunch of the fuses that I've had, and there was uh, access to a bit more star fills than recently, or star fill things that would lead to star fills. So, just uh, during Flash Feud last weekend, I went through and did a ton of fuses and star fills. And I recorded them uh, while I was at Target, waiting for stuff on my wife. So that's why I'm, you know, putting it here and not, you know, here on the the portal version. But I thought maybe, just maybe, this would be something you find interesting. I wanted to talk through like why I did these different uh, fuses. So I started with star fills, and the first one that I did was Hall of Fame Undertaker. A lot of people have said Hall of Fame Undertaker is just outdated now. He is behind the curve, whatever. Uh, but I wanted to get him going. So that was my first one. And then I moved on uh, to kind of look through my roster and see what it was that I wanted to do. Because look at all these ones that I could star fill. There was just a bunch. But for me, Heavy Metal Rhea is, uh, other than Braun Strowman, Powerhouse, she is the best chase character I've ever gotten, I think. She will get the most utility, and now, sitting on the other side of this, we didn't know then, but I know now, that there's this 99 MP thing that they've got going on. So that, on top of it, was huge. I also want to build up Liv Morgan. I am trying to get to where I have enough uh, tokens, which I think I now do for next week's Talent Up, to take her six star. I think that just said Benny Smaja posted a, a new video. Follow Benny Smaja Gaming. He's awesome. Uh, so then I went through and started to just look what is it that, who are my best characters? And my favorite character in this game, period, is Jim Neidhart Hall of Fame. You need one gear to make him tick right. Two gears is just awesome, just overkill. I don't have that, but I did get to preview him with that. So one gear, I went ahead and uh, leveled him up because he is one that I just want to I want to keep taking up. His damage, I think, scales well past six-star gold. We don't know, question mark. But I also wanted to fill Fatu. Uh, Fatu, before I got Jim Neidhart, was my best triple green guy, and it was not even a contest. But now uh, I really like Jim Neidhart better. But I'm banking on the fact that at some point I can maybe get another one of the Sheik plates and then I would run both of them because you've got a tech and you've got a powerhouse. That would be great for feud. They're, oh, I mean, they're just great in every mode. Uh, just amazing. I also want to build up, I have not yet, but I want to build up Kevin Owens. That's as high as I have him currently still is, is five star silver. But now that the month-long contest is over for him, I want to take him six-star as soon as I can. And my showboats, I haven't really, since Regal, uh, you know, before Regal, I didn't really have anybody. Then I got Regal, built him up. I really haven't invested in any other showboats. So I definitely want to take Kevin Owens. I think uh, he's really good. Also, really like Rey Mysterio. Now, he is move damage based for the move set that I'm running him. But, oh, maybe I didn't. Did I not level him up there? Either way, I, I really like Ray. He is one of my more favorite Hall of Fame guys. Am I going to go with Finn? Yeah, I went with Finn instead. Uh, Finn is one that I wanted for so stinking long, and I just didn't get him, didn't get him, didn't get him, even though I was so close with shards. I kind of actually have a grudge against that Finn Balor now. Uh, it's just it's a weird thing I do sometimes. Uh, Bradshaw, I definitely want to fill. Yeah, it's all the way to the top. He is my best striker, and I am really excited to get to start using him. There was an attitude error requirement just today that I could have, except for you, you had to use a Lex Luger for that. So that was the next round. Let me load the next set. 
from Bradshaw, I started looking for what are some of my lower guys that I want to star fill. Uh, no, actually, I'm on fuses now. So these are just straight fuses. It just what I got is what I got. That X Pac, oh my gosh, one of the recent loots. If you saw our videos, you just got X Pac after X Pac after X Pac. And so, you know, I had a fuse for X Pac. Also have a Starfill fuse for the last Outlaw Undertaker. Yours needs to be 26K. He is a great trainer. In fact, I know this is hard uh, for, for a lot of people to work towards, and it's definitely not something that even like the best of players don't just have such overflowing resources. By the way, that was one of my six-star seventh anniversary pulls. Very disappointed in that. Just She's fine she's fine but once you have nikita you don't worry about her anymore but i think that every character on people's rosters needs to be five star gold at some point and soon i think it will be six star i know that's hard to wrestle with and i know every character is a little bit of hyperbole but even like right now the we're on the weekend where uh they've just released devon dudley and there are new day requirements that if you don't have them five star gold you're just not going to get through them very easily so it it is wise to look at what css what contest superstars are pretty frequent and start building your roster on those lower levels around those. Another one of my, that was a, a, a small fuse because I already had him five star gold. I was never going to take Seamus to six star, but that was one of the seventh anniversary ones that I got. He's a trainer. He, if you don't have uh, PG era, so if you don't have, I forget who, who eclipsed him, but he, he might be your best PG era and that's okay. But other than that, he's just not great. Starfill Fuse, Honky Tonk, I was using in boss battles a lot for a while, but at this point, I'm not taking him 6-star silver, and the boss battle meta is pretty much 6-star bronze, 6-star silver is what you got to run with, so that is what it is. I also was not super excited about that Bianca Fuse. My son still does not have Bianca in the game because he doesn't really play the game anymore, so that's also a big part of it. But of, of all the Biancas, I mean, the first one, she's the oldest one in there. She's very dated. There's not really much I would do with her. But again, back to my comments, anytime you can get someone up to six star, it just makes it where when they're CSS, you're good to go. And that is doubly true for the Miz right there. That is my best Miz. We have a video out called Trickster's Tips. That Miz cannot lose if you use a certain specific trick. But other than that, he's not relevant anymore. Doink the Clown Fuse, five star gold. This one was actually awesome just because they upgraded his abilities at 26K. So now I need to take him six star for his abilities uh, so that I can have his trainer go up. And that was a big jump. That's the, Doink was once my, my roster leader. I mean, he was once the one that led my roster. Rusty, uh, famously on his polls video you saw, his six-star silver poll from the seventh anniversary was that Tech Drew. I wanted him for so long, and I really like him, actually. He's just very dated at this point. I think I'm going to hit, nope, not Steph. Oh, Papa Shanga. Oh, okay, it's just a star fill. It's just a star fill. That's another one. that You talk about, like, surprise CSS. That was a required character for one of the tours, the start of the 7th anniversary month. And oh my gosh, is it brutal trying to do anything with him. So another reason why even some of those guys you don't really use much, you need to get them up into the, let's just say 5-star bronze minimum. Like every character needs to be around that 5-star bronze for their training abilities. Plus whenever they pop on new trainer abilities, that also is a reason to do that. So that was my next. Now, the last video, I, I just shoot them in spurts because, you know, my wife would go somewhere else in Target, follow her, wait for something, and then and then go. Uh, that, that is what this is. So let me show you one more set. Keeping on with the fuses. This is one I was actually not ter terribly upset to get at six-star bronze. 
R Truth, I just think is awesome. Period. Uh, he's one of my favorites. I hope they release a Judgment Day Trickster R Truth soon. I think that would be hilarious. But even having K Quick at six star, he's got a decent trainer ability, and he has like that specific K Quick has been required as CSS before. So, will they do it again? Eh, who knows? Uh, that's a star fill fuse. I was helping my faction out. By the way, Toxic Mafia, number one in the faction, uh, the the first event of this new mo uh, MLC, three million points ahead of Woken. I'm, I'm just saying, Toxic Mafia is awesome. But I did that for the faction because I don't use him. He's already at his max trainer ability. Uh, he's the least the least good Deeming Priest. This is a big fuse. If like So that was one of the ones I got that... Uh, if I hadn't had him, that would have been the one I was like, oh, I didn't get anything else good except at least I got that. But because I got him from the oopsie bags, it's a fuse. But again, five-star gold. That's a nice fuse right there. I will take that. Uh, Steph, so Goldie, when they did the revamp, we weren't content creators yet, or at least official, I don't think. 90% um, sure, or we were just starting to come onto the team. But I remember watching Goldie do that video, and she surprised people. Like, that rework is actually pretty decent. So the fact that I've now got her six-star means that she's worth considering. LWO Eddie is a trainer. Yeah, I don't even, I was just like, forget that, man. <laughs> Same with this. Like, you know, again, this is just for the faction. Stevie Ray, my son pulled for like two bucks on his debut weekend. And I was so mad. It took me forever to get that Stevie Ray. And once again, by the time I got him, he was not relevant. Um, sorry. DJ has some great videos on how to run him even now. But I personally just not into him. Dragon, I got the silver fuse. I need to, we all need to take him 26k because his trainer ability is incredible on a lot of people. And some of my favorite characters that are starting to lose their shine, like Johnny Knoxville and Zombie Dragon, uh, now with this, his trainer ability. Oh, and Becky Goat. Like, Becky Goat now has two new moments in the last couple weeks that are for feud, and all of them buff trap gems. So now with that, this is a huge, huge fuse. That is the worst free character I remember them, them use. Like I, he's just terrible, like terribly bad. So if you want to complain about, oh my gosh, these characters, they're so blah blah blah. Like the the free characters we get now are on par with a lot of the the chase and paid characters we used to get, and that road dog is proof. Tiny Fuse for Roddy Piper. Got him way late in, in his meta. He was already very irrelevant as well. I love Roddy Piper. In fact, I just watched the documentary, The Rivals series, where it was Hogan and Roddy Piper leading up to WrestleMania 1, and then they showed him going to WCW, and then like later WrestleMania. All good stuff. Acro Seth, NXT Acro Seth. No utility that I can think of, but once again, the closer you can get everyone on your roster to five star, the better. Plus, uh, I haven't really talked about it much because there's been so much going on, but one of my goals on my roster is to get every single person up to five star next. And so I already got rid of all my three stars except Dolph Ziggler. So that is now done. So my next goal is to get everyone to five star. So every one of these fuses that I do gets me that much closer. Also, spoiler, the next video that I do for Talent Up is going to be my 8 million spectacular. I'm right on that cusp and it should be uh, within reach, within reach for the next video. So watch that next Talent Up video because ooh, hoo, 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 it's going to be good. <laughs> 8 million. Like I never thought like that's, that's whales. That's whales. That's not me. But now the whale line has moved. I would say you know, a lot of the whales are getting into the, you know, 10, 11, 12 plus million range. Um, so I'm still, I'm still a, a dolphin, as Merrick likes to say. I, I've definitely stepped up since we became content creators. I've, I've done it differently. I've invested in the content differently. But, but, I don't think I'm a whale yet. But I will be at eight million. <laughs> Shelton T B. So this is basically where I'm. I think I'm pretty much down to all guys that uh, guys and gals fuses things that just are starfill and and like four gold to to five. Uh, 
<laughs> my mom was at Top Golf. She was coming in. So this was actually recorded last weekend because I was recording it right before the uh, the feud. So what am I doing now? We're looking at where Toxic Mafia is. Congrats, guys. Look at that placement. We are 22nd. And at that point, I was third in the faction. Dark Star, as always, man, just stepping it up in ways that we never, never would have realized. Like, that dude can just rock this whole thing for the team. So that is my uh, talent up, I guess. You wouldn't really call it that. It was a, it was a Fusapalooza. Ooh, that's what I'm going to call this video. I hope I'm not stealing that from somebody. That sounds like something DJ Anon ZT would say. So if I took it from him, I'm sorry. It's just lodged somewhere in the back of my brain, and I'm not giving credit. But Fusapalooza, hopefully it was helpful just in the sense of, like, here's why I took some of these up. Here's why I starfilled those guys. You know, when you get a fuse for this guy, is he worth anything anymore? You know, hopefully, I used to like watching content like that. I still like co watching content like that. Um, so, so hopefully, it's helpful for you. But let me know in the comments section. Like this video, comment, subscribe to Champions Chat, and then uh, you know, send this around your faction servers and discords. Why? Well, if for nothing else, it actually really does help us. Help us build the channel. It's amazing. You guys rock. I'll see you later on the next one. Bye. -bye. That was it.